Hello, it's a dark episode for November the 14th, 2022. Jay here. It's the end of the weekend and it's funny. I did, I think I did almost everything I wanted to do this weekend. You know, I want to get the groceries done, uh, the various little kind of home projects around the thing that you want to get done big thing was to get into ICBC and get my uh, driver's license renewed. Super important. And I actually, as a bonus, because Zhao needed to switch over her, her pharmacies, I got my flu shot, which was very much needed to get done. So I, I, I did, I did quite a bit this weekend. And, you know, I, I got my writing done. I kept up my writing on NaNoWriMo. That is going well. Um, you know, steadily, surely. Um, I even feel sort of okay with what I've, what, I've, what I've written. You know, it's not great art, but it's something that I'm... It's a story that I am unspooling, and it is unspooling so that that is good that is that is all good and you know I don't feel like clawing my eyes out as I as I go to it in the morning and then again one more time before work or you know before the end of the day on the weekend I got get, I get it done I do feel like uh I wish I had started at least on my review of less I, I think of the things that make give me kind of like ah uh, a little bit of satisfaction in my life and this is relevant because um, one of the things I'm doing before for the end of the year or not even the end of the year but for coming up with themes for what my new year will be like it's the idea of themes and organizing your life around that is answering questions of like you know what do I like to do and what are my what do I dislike about what I do? And to kind of use that as sort of a guide of to kind of guide myself in the new year of like maybe reduce the dislikes and increase the things that I like. And one of the things I definitely like doing, I feel accomplishment for, I feel like I've done something, uh, is to craft reviews of books, the books that I read. That, that gives me a sense of completion with the book. It pushes me to examine works in a way that I just wouldn't. I would just finish reading and that would be the end of it. I would just be in it and then you're out again versus really kind of just kind of, ah, getting deeper in. And definitely, yeah, so it's like really one of my likes is doing these reviews. I, I mean, I don't think they're that great. You know, people aren't particularly that interested in them, but that's not the point. The point is they, they're important to me. They're important to my reading. You know, I call this my private reader channel. And it's, there's a thing there of like, I just, it's important to me to read and it's important for me to read as deeply and as thoughtfully as I'm capable of, which, you know, isn't to say I'm particularly that great of a writer. <laughs> you know, I get a lot of things wrong. Um, the book I'm considering at the moment is one I think I got pretty wrong on my first read, which kind of makes it all the more exciting to have reread it and really enjoyed it, but also had some thoughts about why or, where my misreading or my counter reading came from the last time. So yeah, yeah, that's something I really enjoy. That is something I really enjoy doing. And, uh, you know, if, if I'm going to aim at things that I want more of in my life, uh, in the, in the next year, it'll be that it'll be reviews. Um, and that's a very selfish thing and that's a very personal thing, but, uh, you know, if you don't have those, uh, what's the point of the rest of the stuff? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's my thoughts for today on this, 
uh, this this cool November the 14th Monday. All right, I have been Jay. More videos later.